Hello, hello everyone. My name is Anang Shalamyan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to share with you a tool that I recently found and it blew my mind with its accuracy and precision. And that tool is gpthuman.ai, which is the AI humanizer and AI detector all combined into one. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create content that bypasses AI detection with the school tool called GPT Human. The first step is to go to the link in the description of this video or on the first comment and this is the home page of GPT Human you will see. Now if you don't know this already, I have reviewed a ton of AI detectors and AI humanizers already on my YouTube channel and what most AI humanizers do is that they just re-spin the content. For example, if you read a content that has been generated by an AI humanizer, you would notice that mostly the humanizer tool has replaced every word with its synonym, which sounds very weird. It sounds very off-putting. I mean, if you just replace a book with a tome every time, it doesn't really make sense, right? And that's where most AI humanizers fail. Even though the AI score in the content might be zero, when you re read it as a person, it, you know that this was not really written by a human. But let's talk about GPT human, which is an AI humanizer that actually works. And no, it does not blindly replace all the words with their synonyms. What GPT human does is carefully change your AI written document into words that might be plausibly used by humans and the output it's pretty hard for me as a reader and a writer to distinguish from AI written content and I have also cross checked it across AI detectors and the AI content has come up to be pretty low which means GPD human is a super reliable tool but before we go further into how to use this let's talk a little bit about the pricing plans of GPD human AI so the starter pack is at just ten dollars per month and you can use it to humanize 15,000 words a month for content creators, content marketers, website owners, the advanced plan might make more sense because with it you can generate up to 50,000 words per month and 1,000 words per output. For businesses and enterprises, the pro and plus plan make a lot of sense. And uh, I believe that the yearly plan is better because you get to save a ton of money. For the same plan, if you had to pay monthly, you would get it at almost double the price which does not really make sense according to me all right so that's all about the pricing plans of gpt human let's talk about how you can start using this tool the first step is to create an account you can click on get started for free and that will lead you to a verification page where you can sign up with google or you can create your account and register I have already registered on gpthuman.ai and this is how the dashboard looks like. Uh, you can see how many credits you have, you can see how many times you have used this tool and there are three functionalities. First is the humanizer which means transform AI generated text into human like content. The second tool is the AI detector. If you can use this to check if the text was written by an AI or a human. And the most interesting part, it also has a generator. You can generate undetectable AI content using gpthuman.ai. One tool, three functionalities with just one subscription. Isn't that a steel deal? Now let's talk about the capabilities of the school tool. So I had used ChatGPT to generate a simple 300 word text with the topic I love to travel but I don't rom romanticize it anymore and this is the result that I got. So I will copy the text and check it against the AI detector here. All I have to do is paste my text and click on scan for AI. Predictably the human score is just 2 which means the 98% probability this text was generated by AI. Now what I'll do is I'll take the same text, go to the humanizer and paste this text here. Uh, when I do that, I have these options that the tone can be standard, high school, college or PhD. I'm going to put the standard tone and a balanced tone and then I'll click on humanize. You can also import a file, uh, a document or a PDF file using this option here if you do not want to paste it directly. 
in a few seconds i got this result i will copy this text and let's check it against the ai detector and see what the results are this time so i'll click on ai detector paste my text here and click on scan for ai now i have gotten a human score of 92 which means there is only 8% probability that this text was generated using an AI. And the most powerful feature is when you go through this text, you can see some sentences are highlighted in red, which means there's a high probability a large language model was used to generate this sentence. So you can change these particular sentences to make this AI score even lower and make the human score even more higher than here. But checking it against the inbuilt AI detector of GPT human doesn't do enough justice, does it? So I have come to one of my favorite AI detectors, Winston AI. And let's see how this powerful AI detector scans my humanized text. So I'll click on new scan, paste my text here and then click on scan text. Within a few seconds, I got the result that this one has a 98% human score. Winston has detected the text as 98% human. So the scan was unable to detect material use of AI text generation tools, which is so powerful. Now we already know that Google penalizes AI generated content. Uh, university professors, academicians do not accept AI generated content. So if you want to use ChatGPT for your content online, for your academics, for publishing blogs on your website or for your journalism, you know you need to use an AI humanizer because otherwise your AI content will be flagged as AI generated and you will be penalized. And in that case, GPT Human is one of the most powerful AI humanizers out there on the market. I personally love this tool and I hope you also enjoy using it. Do not forget to let me know your review in the comments of this video. And remember, you can try out this tool by clicking the link in the description of this video or on the first comment. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial of gpthuman.ai. I will definitely see you again soon with another new video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future content like this. I'll see you again super soon. Until then, stay awesome and keep hustling. Cheers!